Hey guys, Sam from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm with John here from Creek Fishing Adventures. We're doing a new float. I'm pretty excited about it. It's like, it's the longest river float I've ever done by far, but the water's moving pretty fast, so it's supposed to take about six hours. Um, but basically, we're probably gonna be fishing fast pretty much the whole day. We're not gonna have time to slow it down. And I'll probably be throwing a spinner bait basically all day. That's what I've caught all my river bass on this year, so I have a lot of confidence on that. And I'm hoping we can get at least some 18 inch fish. Um, that'll definitely be the goal for today. So, so make sure to stay tuned. I think we'll be on some good fish. We're going after spotted bass today and might run into some Kusa bass and largemouth as well. So let's get fishing. What? Oh, I didn't even know there was one. No. Is it supposed to be good fishing that day or something? Oh, oh, got one. Is it a rock bass? A rock bass. I paused it. I paused it and I started to paddle. I've hardly caught any rock bass. They just don't live near where I live. He kind of hit it and it hooked the side of his face, but he has a little black on him. I don't know if that means he's a shadow bass or not, but do they usually have black on the top? Okay, yeah, maybe not then. Well, it's not one of the target species, but I'm happy to catch it. I've probably caught less than like five of these in my life, so. Ooh, I don't know, he might, I don't know if he's a shadow bass, but. Oh yeah, he's, he's like almost nine inches. Oh, eight and a half, eight and a half, so. Hopefully we'll get into some more bass here soon, but that might actually be a shadow bass. That's a pretty fish. I mean, he's definitely got some black splotches, so it could be a shadow bass. Let that one go. Pretty fish, I mean. It's either a really good looking rock bass or just a shadow bass. Ooh. Oh, he's kind of slow getting off. I'm sure, I'll dart back down. There's one. Ooh. There we go. Got a little spot. Well, there's a little spot. Not very big. Maybe like an 11 incher. But hopefully they'll start getting more active and there'll be some more fish hitting that spinner bait. Let him go. Oh, I saw one hit it. Oh, he hit it again. In the back of this eddy. He hit it twice. It's bigger than the last one I caught. Oh, got one. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Dude, right next to the boat he bit it. Are you kidding me? It was like spinning right next to the boat. It's a nice one. Oh my gosh. I think John's, I don't know if he's calling me. Someone's calling me. Oh my gosh. He's probably got a fish. Whoa, dude. It's not a bad one. I think John's right up here. Do you get one? I got one too, let's get a picture. All right, well that's a solid fish. He was like right at 17 inches, probably two and change. He's real fat there. Just a fat spring river spot. And he came right off a big tree under a rapid. That's like the second fish today that has hit almost right at the boat. I kind of just like start to slow it down as I'm about to make another cast. And I've had a couple who just hit it when I do that. All right, this, this fish really looks different. He's so dark for a Alabama spot. Oh, shoot, there he goes. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude, I keep stopping it, like, randomly when I start paddling and I hit it. I, like, I wasn't even doing it intentionally, but... It's probably like 15. Maybe only 14, but... There we go. Yeah, so many have hit it when I just kind of pause it for a second to paddle. That's probably how I've caught three out of the four of them. All right, third spot of the day. He was like 14 and three quarters, so another solid one. I think we got so much water left to cover. I think we'll be on a lot more fish today. Let him go. There might be a jerk bait right there. I might. I think it's a six cents. I might get it. Oh, and I got stuck anyway, so this is a nice jerk bait. That is a nice jerk bait. 
It's a sixth sense. It literally looks like it was lost like this morning. That is basically a brand new lure. It's pretty awesome. Oh, oh, dude, I saw him flash. I like hooked him for a second. He just popped off. It was a solid one, probably 16, 17. All right, John and I just took a little snack break. We're probably close to four hours into the float. And we've probably only gone about a third of the way. So this may end up being a lot longer float than we thought, uh, but got some food in us, a little bit more re-energized now. And hopefully I'll, still be able to catch some fish on that spinner bait. This river does move like super fast compared to most all the rivers I've fished, but, but hopefully we'll get into some more good areas and get more fish on the spinner bait. Nice. My drag's really loose. It's, oh man, maybe my drag's not loose. Ooh, it's probably 16, 17. All right, that's the first one, like pretty much right after it hit the water, it nailed it, for me at least. Let's go. He's got a crescent on his eye, dude. I think he's a, I think he's a hybrid. Like, look at the crescent. It's gotta be a hybrid. Well, this is my first fish since we took that little lunch break and it looks like a hybrid between a Cusa bass and a spotted bass. It's got that, you know, turquoise crescent on its eye there, which a Cusa bass has, but he's just about 16 inches. So he's too big to be a Cusa bass. So I think he's any, you know, he's got the lateral line. So I think he's a hybrid between a Alabama spot and a Cusa. Either that or he's just a giant Cusa. Maybe I should weigh him and just in case, but I don't, I don't know. I think he's got to be a hybrid. I thought about weighing him, but I don't think he's a pure strain Cusa. I don't know. He, he's got a some spot in him. Alabama bass. Oh my gosh, John just caught another one. That one's gonna take a minute because I had him out a little while, but he's going off. Oh, a fish. Got him. Oh, stuck on the top of my thing. Decent little one. Ah, maybe like a 14 incher. Yeah, see, this looks like just a regular old Alabama spot. He's got red eyes, maybe a little male or something. Well, that guy's a little smaller. Probably won't even put him on the board. Maybe a 13 and a half, 14 incher there. Not bad though. I mean, the fishing has really been picking up. I've caught two in the past 15 minutes maybe. John's probably caught about four in the past 20 minutes or so. There's one, another one. It's about the same size, not that big. Oh, you got a double, dang. We are catching them now. I mean, we've probably, between the two of us, we've caught like, I don't even know how many in the past 25 minutes. This was, this is only a few minutes later for me. It's another one, little one, around 12 and a half, 13. Coming up on a tree, don't want to get stuck on it. So I'm gonna go. How many have you caught since lunch? Uh, so you're at 11. Yeah, it took me an hour to just to catch something, so. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. They're, they're hitting like, he was super shallow too. Like, it's just a little sandy bank. Not even, nothing there really. Maybe he's a spawner. Oh, wow, it hit him in the top of the head. Oh, there we go. It's not bad. He's probably 15 or so. All of a sudden, it's like the fishing just turned on. I mean, I've caught three fish in the past like maybe 15 minutes this one's actually decent definitely bigger than those last two and john just got another one john has caught seven since lunch we've been out here for 48 minutes since lunch uh so he's caught seven in that amount of time that's crazy and now i've caught four in that amount of time there's just they're biting like crazy right now all right another solid fish he was pretty much right at 16 inches they are nailing the spinner bait. I think John's catching them on the chatter bait now. Oh my gosh. Right out from the tree. Another little one. 
Man. The bite is just crazy right now. This one's pretty small. Maybe like a 12 incher, but. Oh, it's fun when they nail it. Spinnerbait's just such a fun lure to fish with. All right, another fish. Is it big? Really? Really? Spinnerbait? Right now? Going. Got him. Oh! He, he jumped and it just flung out. He jumped facing me, so it like. It was. so aggressive right now. It was solid. He wasn't like, I mean, a giant, but he was big. Yeah, he was good. I can't believe he actually hit it and then he just. Oh. Oh my gosh, didn't even notice. Oh, he came off. It wasn't huge, it was like 15, 16. Yeah. I think I had a little like too much tension on him because he was so close to the boat. Man, he hit it really close to the boat, wasn't even paying attention. It's happened a lot today. Right now they're just, they're really aggressive right now. There we go. Man, please stay on. It's been a while since I've landed a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh. Right off of that tree. Oh my gosh. My net almost. Dude. What in the world? My net was folded over. Oh my gosh. Surprised that one didn't come off. Well, we recently took another little break. Wow, and it popped out. My net was folded over so the fish didn't really like get into the net all the way. This one's like probably 17. Yeah, all right, finally got another fish. I lost a couple in a row. Um, one of which was like right next to the boat. So feels good to get another one there. This one's, I don't know, maybe 16 and change. Not a bad one. So it turns out it was right at 17. So that's another, the second 17 inch of the day. Not quite as fat as the other one, but another really solid fish. Watch her swim off here. Oh, my drag was really loose. Still is loose. Oh, another one on the spinnerbait. Jeez, fell in the boat. He's an absolute fatty. Kind of in the middle of this rapid. Little chunkster, nothing too big. Probably like a 12 and a half inch or maybe. And I've already got so many pictures today, like there's really no point in taking a picture of that one. Any fish that's like around 15 or so, I'll probably get pictures of. There's a fish. Oh my gosh. Skim. It's not bad. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. No way. One just came up and like tried to eat the spinnerbait out of this one's mouth. Oh my gosh. I was like, why is there another fish right there? They were competing for it. Maybe they were betting or something, I don't know. Well, I'll definitely try to show it if the back camera got it, but <laughs> there was another fish that came up and tried to eat the spinnerbait out of this fish's mouth as it was reeling it in. I caught, I caught this one a couple minutes after that last little guy. Not a bad one, he might be 15, maybe 14 and a half. I'll throw him on the board. Oh. Well, he got away. I put him on the board and he just flopped right out. He's probably right about 15. Well, it's about four o'clock now. We've got like 12 fish now, I think. Um, so we very well could hit 20 fish today. I think I'm just gonna stick with the spinner bait. See if we can get to 20. Maybe we'll finally get that one over 18. We got a couple that are, we're pretty close, you know, a couple 17s. With a good bit of smaller 12 inches mixed in. Oh! I think I had one bite. Oh, right, no way, bit it twice. They're crazy active. He 
He was following it up all the way. I was getting ready to recast it and he was still following it. I think I caught three since the last break. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going back to my, my bigger center bait. Uh, oh, I got one. Oh my gosh. Tiny. Wait. This guy's kind of bleeding, but right after I said I was maybe going to catch 20, I didn't catch one for a while. No, it was just a tiny spot. That was number 13. Very well, could get seven more. Just hopefully they'll get a little more active or I don't know if we were just in a section that wasn't as good or what. Oh, got him. Oh man, he might come off. Man, the way he's fighting. Boom. There we go. Maybe like a 14 or 15. Summer 14 on the day. Maybe we'll hit 20. I mean, I think we're pretty much on pace to hit 20. I'm already pretty worn out, but we still got a good chunk of this float to go. He's pretty much right at 14. There's a lot of these like 12 to 14 inches in here. Ah, that was another fish. That was perfect. I was like, oh, there's gonna be one there. That one. Do I have one? Yeah. Ah, these. Smaller one. Maybe a 13 incher. Maybe 14. That was weird. I was like, sometimes they're just kind of paddling and the lure's still in the water and they'll hit it. What happened again on this one? It's number, what, 15? No way. Oh, it's a good one. Almost lost my paddle. Dude, I like wasn't even, wasn't even reeling really. It's probably like a 16, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Dude, there's been so many times, like I'm not even really reeling the spinner bait. It's just like down in there somewhere. The blades are moving and a fish will hit it. Oh, he's good, he's pretty good. He's, he's really fat. Yeah, definitely not a bad fish. I thought he was a little bigger at first. He was like maybe 16 inches, maybe just 15 and three quarters, but real fat, nice healthy fish there. Nice, I mean, they're all just so healthy today. All super fat in the springtime. I didn't think I had a fish and I really I thought I was on a log, I was just trying to pull it out, but it was a fish. Little one. John just caught like a nice 17 inch. We're basically done now. It's a little maybe 12 incher. We have got a handful of these, you know, little like 12 inchers, but we've also got some solid fish as well. We haven't really caught any like giants, but it's been a good day out here. Best five, I think it's roughly like 81 and a half inches. So that's not bad at all. And we've just caught a lot of fish, even though we have been out here for at least eight hours. All right, well, we are finally back from the float. We just uh, drove back up to my truck and got our gear all separated. It was a fun day, definitely exhausting. I think we thought the float was gonna be six hours. It ended up being more like eight and a half, but we caught a lot of fish. You know, it started off kind of slow. In the middle there, we had like a good flurry of catching a bunch of fish. And I mean, overall I caught like 17 bass. That's probably one of the best river floats I've had numbers wise. And caught some good fish, no big ones, but got a couple 17 inches, a handful around 16 and 15. So definitely can't complain about that, but hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.